as Iran's economy is uh, being battered by massive uh, international sanctions, uh, will these sanctions be enough to prevent Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon? Well, by all estimates, the sanctions uh, have been working. Uh, there is tremendous amount of uh, economic hardship in Iran today. The Iranian real uh, have lost some say 40 percent, others say even up to 80 percent of its value. Uh, the public is extremely unhappy. There is a rush on exchanging the real for dollars. Uh, the government now is trying to inter is intervening, trying to stop these exchange exchanges of money. So they feel the, the real pressure from the sanctions. There is no question about it. Now, as to whether this is going to convince them to stop their nuclear program or meet the demands of the IEA in terms of shipping outside the country the, all the uranium that was enriched to 20 percent, stop the production of such uranium, uh, that is something that I'm, I don't believe is going to happen anytime soon. They feel that they can weather this sanction still. What is going to take is a probably additional set of really crippling section, and I mean really crippling, so that the Iranian will be unable to transact just about on anything when it comes to foreign trade, supplies, uh, and things of the sort. Uh, my feeling is that the United States is considering this now very seriously, along with the European, and I think a new set of sanctions will be imposed, probably as a last chance before other decisions might be taken in terms of what other coercive approach can be taken against Iran. But remember this, the uh, United States, the European community, and all those countries who might directly or indirectly affected by what's going on in Iran would like to avoid a military confrontation, be that by Israel, Israeli attack on Iran nuclear facilities, or the United States. And there's no doubt in my mind, in, and Israel too, would like not to attack if it can ensure that Iran is prevented from acquiring nuclear weapons. But then that remains to be seen. Will the Iranian heed, or will the Iranian would be prepared to take a chance and, and continue with their enrichment of uranium? We'll have to see, I, I guess, for the next two or three months, we will have a much better picture. Let's say an attack does occur. Uh, do you believe that Israel, if it's left with no other choice, let's say it doesn't get the support from the United States, uh, do you believe it'll go alone in attacking Iran's nuclear facilities? Uh, I think you can play a couple of scenarios that might compel Israel to go alone if it's necessary. One is that the Israelis conclude that Iranians have been able to transfer much of their sensitive technologies and centrifuge into the new facilities near Qum, which are pretty much impregnable to air attacks. And still the United States hasn't decided to do something about it. That's one possible scenario. The other possible scenario is that if the Israelis conclude that Iran has reached the point of no return, so to speak, mean, namely have been able to uh, acquire the necessary technology to produce a weapon, and they can actually assemble it in a, very, in a very short notice. And again, if the United States still does not act, uh, Israel will uh, act alone if this would be the situation. Um, but of course, the, it is always preferable. Should there be a need for any kind of attack against Iran nuclear facilities, the United States is the only really power that can actually cripple these facilities but for much longer time. But I still believe that everything should be done to prevent that from happening, because in the end um, there will be no winners, and this might even push Iran toward acquiring a nuclear weapon at some point in time. But preventing Iran from reaching that point is a probably a situation that uh, Israel or the United States are very much committed to.